Vibratory ball feeders are a widely used option for industrial part feeding. However, designing this feeder type is still largely manual and based on trial and error. Generally, the orienting capability of the vibratory ball feeders are designed from a number of standard orientation mechanisms, also called traps. These traps are adapted to a specific part by varying the geometric parameters of the trap. An essential task of vibratory ball feeder design is thus determining an optimal parameter set. To efficiently facilitate this task, we propose the use of dynamic simulation to evaluate trap design opposed to physical construction. This work presents an efficient approach to optimize multi-parameter traps. In each iteration of the optimization, an experiment is conducted with a specific geometry variation of the trap. Here the potential best geometry variation or parameter set is chosen based on the upper bound of the confidence interval. An experiment covers a simulation of a single part being vibrated across the trap. This results in either that the trap has the desired effect on the part, or that it does not. This success or failure is the only feedback to the learning algorithm. The optimization is shown here for a two-parameter trap. The approach is based in Bayesian optimization and uses the upper confidence bound as selection function. Moreover, regression by kernel density estimation is used as a function estimator. The significance of the variance of the estimated probability of success for a parameter set is decreased over time. This ensures an emphasis on exploration in the beginning that gradually switches to prioritize exploitation. Furthermore, the kernel density estimation approach is used to estimate the probability of success for neighboring parameter sets. This allows for a faster approximation of the solution space since it generalizes the outcome to the corresponding neighborhood region. The optimization is used to optimize four traps to orient an industrial part. The goal is that these traps can make up two distinct sequences where each sequence orients the part to a specific target orientation. The models of the optimized traps are combined to make a full bowl design and tested in simulation. The sequence consisting of a step and a slotted track is unable to fully orient the part to the target orientation, as some parts in the upright orientation are not toppled by the step. However, the sequence consisting of the sidestep trap and a wall projection and narrow track ensures that all parts leaves the feeder in the target orientation. Finally, the two designs are prototyped and tested on a real vibratory feeder. We find that there is good correspondence between the estimation of the simulation and the observed performance of the real setup. In conclusion, the optimization strategy determines good parameter sets for the traps, which are directly applicable for a real vibratory bowl feeder to ensure correct part orientation.